Well, here we are again. Can't believe it's been two years. Got lots of projects going on, lots to keep us busy, lots of students to train. I was thinking if we had time, we'd make a full-length motion picture feature about what it's like to be in academic science. But then I realized this movie's already been made. It's called Les Miserables. <laughs> Master of the lab, doling out the charm, ready with a handshake and a mutant worm. Uh, I gotta get some sleep. Yeah, this is a fun lab. Last year, Moore's added sound effects with a microscope. From time to time, we have to bring our daughter into the lab. It's no big deal. She usually just does some cleaning. Dad stores his data. Dropbox in his sleep. On ten he drives for him to keep. Not with his data on the cloud. So I've got an undergraduate who is interested in joining the lab coming to see me later today. One of the difficulties, of course, with undergraduates is to convince them that the work that we do in the C. elegans embryo is interesting enough for them to join the lab. But I can be very persuasive. That's basically what we work on. So what do you think? So you're like curing a disease or something? Or? You know, we all start out as a single cell, you know, and we, um, that single cell, the zygote, has to go through a number of, you know, cleavages to generate uh, the multicellular uh, organism that will turn into a human embryo. I know these guys that won Nobel Prizes. Um, Andrew Fire, I heard of him. No. Um, there's this worm show um, that we do every two years at UCLA. This comedy show. Comedy show? Yeah. You think um, if I join your lab, like, I could possibly be in it? Like... Yeah, sure. Sweet. Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. I'm actually glad you're here. I have to give you a plasma to inject. I'm just going to be way too swamped today. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna pop some mats, only got 20 bigs of my plasmid. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for transformers. This is freaking awesome. Yeah, walk into the lab like, what up? I got a big grant. I'm so pumped for results from my Masi. Worms in the fridge, it's so damn frosty. The lab mate's like, damn, that's a cold ass wormy. Poking in hella deep, giving him a transgene. Stuck to an agar pad, gonna make my worms green. Sitting in my lab seat, tank standing next to me. Probably should have tightened this, sounds like it's got a leak. Hiss. But it was Unk 119. I'm in a white lab coat. I look incredible. My car's 15 years old. And I park it down the road. I'm gonna pop some gnats. Only got 20 bigs of my plasmid. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for transformers. This is freaking awesome. Hill, have you seen the missing lab books? I can't find them anywhere. No, what do they look like? It's, they're like three books, purple. No, ask the boys. Hey, can I talk to you guys for a second? I mean, I just talked to Morris and he's really upset. There's a bunch of uh, mapping data that went missing. It's like three lab books, purple binders. Have you seen it? No, no, no. Right, how, how do binders just go missing? Do you think someone took them? Who would steal a bunch of lab books? Well, they had a lot of mapping data in it. Maybe it's our competitors. What competitors? Morris wants to do mapping and cloning the same way he did it in 1993 when he cloned Unk-119. 
Bill Clinton was president, and people still used Lack Z for reporters. <sighs> At least he's out of the lab when he's teaching. So last year I won this Distinguished Teaching Award, which I'm very proud of. So you can see it's made out of glass. It's very sharp and pointy. I suppose that's so that if any winners of these awards regret the amount of time they've put into teaching, they can always impale themselves on it. But this year I've tried some new pedagogies. I've used a guitar and written some songs to help students learn about molecular biology. G pairs with C, A pairs with T. If G paired with T, a transition that could be. Morris really likes snip mapping. It's kind of weird. Why? He never used to do it. I don't know. He's also obsessed with genetic variation. It's really weird. Yeah, things are very black and white with him. Either he really likes a method or he hates it completely. Snips in your multitudes Scares to be counted Filling the genome With changes so slight you are the variants, silent and missense. Evolution's design, let selection refine. So we got this project. We're doing some physical mapping and some SNP mapping. And so I'm going to check with my undergraduate Sage and see how it's coming. So Sage, how goes the mapping? Good. Are you down to a chromosome yet? Is it on chromosome one? It may be on chromosome one. Okay. How about chromosome two? That's also a possibility. Okay. But you ruled out chromosome three? Not exactly. How about chromosome four? It could be on chromosome four. Five? Maybe. It's not on X though? No. It's definitely not on X. Chromosome six? Maybe. So guys, how's your research going? I think that Morris and his whole SNP mapping thing has gone way too far. Yeah, but I really think we should go whole, whole genome shotgun sequencing. That should have been where we started in the first place. And it's high time someone told him this too. You know what, that's it. I'm, I'm just going to talk to him tomorrow. I'll take care of this. Good I luck. That. Good luck, man. Thank you. He's going to get mad. If your competition has obtained a complete technical readout of your strains, it is possible however unlikely, that they might find a weakness and exploit it. The lab books you refer to will soon be back in our hands. Any experiments made by your competition against our project would be a useless gesture, no matter what technical data they've obtained. Next generation sequencing is now the ultimate power in the scientific universe. I suggest we use it. Don't be too proud of this technological advancement you've discovered. The ability to sequence a genome is insignificant next to the power of genetics. Don't try to frighten me with your sorcerer's ways, Dr. Maduro. Your sad devotion to that ancient approach has not helped you conjure up the stolen lab books, or given you clairvoyance enough to find the mutation in strain THX 1138. What the hell was that? I found his lack of faith disturbing. First thing tomorrow, I better go straighten this out. Farhad, we need to talk. The time for talking is over. What do you mean? What the hell was that? I think it's time to switch to using whole genome shotgun. <laughs>